Hello! In this series, we want to solve exercises from grade 9 official exams. We will start with optics. In this video, we will review some of the basic information about converging lenses, the ones that you use when you want to magnify something. We represent the converging lens by a segment. We call the midpoint the optical center O. We put arrows on both sides of the lens, directed outwards, indicating that the converging lens has thinner edges than the center. Then we draw the optical axis, which is an imaginary line that passes through the optical center O. By imaginary line, we mean when you use the converging lens, you don't see this line. We just draw it for practical purposes. We can also indicate the direction of propagation of light on the optical axis. So, if the light moves from left to the right, we can put this as the positive direction of propagation of light, or we can draw it here. By the direction of propagation of light, we mean that if we put the lens like this and the laser source or any source of light is directed from left to right. We usually put the direction of propagation of light from left to right as the direction of writing in English. Every converging lens is characterized by its focal length and the focal length is a measure of how strongly this lens can converge light. The focal length is denoted by the lowercase letter f and it is defined as the distance between O and F prime. Where O, as we said, that is the optical center and F prime is another important point on the optical axis. So for example, if we have the focal length of a lens equals 20 centimeters, Then on the optical axis, we draw 20 centimeters starting from O and we locate the position of F prime, where F prime is called the image focus of the lens. The image focus is denoted by an uppercase letter F. We still have one important point on the optical axis, which is point F called the object focus. where f is the symmetric of f prime with respect to o. So once you know f prime, you can know f. This is the object focus f. So f and f prime are symmetric relative to o, and once you know one of them, you can locate the other one directly. After saying that, let's move to the three particular rays that pass through the converging lens. The first special ray of light that we want to study is the ray that passes through O and it continues undeviated. Now remember that the converging lens is another transparent material. So when light passes from air to this medium, which a new medium which is usually made up of glass or plastic, it changes its direction due to a phenomenon called refraction. In this special case, this ray doesn't change its direction and it continues undeviated. So let's draw this thread. It means that it doesn't change its direction after hitting the lens. The second ray of light is the one that comes parallel to the optical axis. So if we have a ray of light that is parallel to the optical axis, it emerges out of the lens passing through the image focus of prime. The third special ray is the one that passes through the object focus and it continues parallel to the optical axis. In this video, we drew the symbol of a converging lens 
as well as the three special rays that pass through the converging lens.